welcome along to our midweek update and just a, a few things to share with you as I mentioned uh, on Sunday morning we intend to have a, a special time of uh, prayer 24 hours of prayer uh, beginning on Friday morning at 10 o'clock and then going through uh, to uh, 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. The first hour will be uh, anyone joining together on Zoom and uh, the final hour will be our usual Saturday morning prayer meeting. And in between those first hour and the last hour, the other uh, hour long slots will be for you and your family to pray at home and if you want to be involved in the uh, 24 hours of prayer then contact either Phil or Sandra Rogers and they will give you details and they will give you a slot uh, hopefully a time that suits you a one hour slot and we hope that we'll be able to cover all the 24 hours and also resources will be available to inform you uh, in your praying. So please do get involved in that. Contact Phil or Sandra. One of the reasons that we're having this special time of prayer, this 24 hours of prayer for the congregation, for the situation we're going through, is that on Sunday morning, I hope to commence a, a new series of sermons looking at prayer and prayer is so vital particularly in these days of lockdown it's one of the things that we can still do even though we can't be together in person we can pray for each other as Matthew Henry once said if we cannot go to the house of the Lord we can go to the Lord of the house we can look to God in prayer. So we're going to be looking at prayer. We're beginning on Sunday morning by thinking about prayer in private. The privacy of prayer. Personal times of prayer. You're also aware that uh, Phil has moved the youth live to Sunday evenings. That's half past seven. And you can join him then uh, on Sunday evening. Boys and girls, I miss not being able to see you Sunday by Sunday. And I, I do want to talk to you this coming Sunday morning when we're thinking about prayer. I want to talk to you about prayer. So please make sure that you tune in with your family at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. And boys and girls, something else that I've heard about for you. I'm sure many of you have always enjoyed going along to uh, five-day clubs organised by Child Evangelism Fellowship during the summer. The coronavirus uh, means that five-day clubs can't meet. But CEF have come up with an online five-day club called Truth Catchers and that will be going live from next Monday the 15th of June so five days from Monday the 15th to uh, Friday the 19th of June Monday through to Friday five days but it actually is going to be available uh, online over the whole summer so if you can't tune in next week you can tune in another week over the summer. Or if you want to do it all again, you can do it again. If you go on to the CEF Ireland website, you can get details about the Truth Catchers Online 5-Day Club. Or you can get it on YouTube at CEF Ireland. At our midweek updates, we've been 
reflecting upon various hymns and worship songs, old and new, that you have been finding meaningful, encouraging, inspiring during lockdown. And I'm very grateful that uh, several of you have been in touch during the week to suggest hymns to me. And I hope to use at least some of those over the coming weeks. But you can still email me or uh, phone me and let me know if you have songs. It's a long time ago now, but I remember back to when I was in youth fellowship and then going into university. And we used to love singing the songs of Graham Kendrick. Songs like The Servant King or Shine Jesus Shine or All I Once Held Dear. Or the song with which we uh, finished last Sunday morning service. The feast is ready to begin. But after that, Graham Kendrick seemed to disappear off the scene. I, I'm sure he wasn't. I'm sure he was still writing lots of songs. But other songwriters seemed to come along, such as Keith and Kristen Getty or Matt Redmond or Chris Tomlin. But a couple of years ago, uh, Graham Kendrick uh, brought out a new CD called, and um, there it is, Keep the Banner Flying High. And I find it very, very meaningful. And perhaps some of you went along to, to a concert that was held in St Anne's in Dungannon that Graham Kendrick uh, sang at. And that was about the time when Keep the Banner Flying High was being launched. And it's one of the pieces from that CD that I, I just want to mention this morning. It's a piece called Holy Overshadowing. We are living in very strange and difficult times. <clears throat> the pandemic is still with us, though we do trust that things are beginning to ease. We have seen the uh, whole uh, unrest caused by the death of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement that has spread throughout the world and brought much unrest. And we are facing undoubtedly a, a very difficult economic recession ahead. So these are very difficult times we're going through and facing in the future. And I think it is very important that we are assured of God's loving care and protecting power surrounding us, upholding us and overshadowing us. We need to know that we are safe in the shadow of the Lord. And the Bible has that lovely image of how God loves us, picturing the, the, the mother hen gathering her little chicks under her wings and overshadowing them. It says in Psalm 91, God will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. God is the one that we can look to and rely upon for safety and security in the midst of the storms of life when so much is uncertain when we are filled with fear. We read in Isaiah 25 verse 4 For you have been a stronghold to the poor, a refuge to the needy in his distress, a shelter from the storm and a shade from the heat. A stronghold, refuge, shelter, Shade, one overshadowing us, protecting us, looking after us. As the chorus of Graham Kendrick's song 
puts it, you are my shield and my glory. You are the lifter of my head. And though the storms may rage around me, I'll be safe within, beneath the holy overshadowing. I trust and pray that through these difficult times and the difficult times that still lie before us, we will know God's holy overshadowing, his tender, loving care and protection. We're going to pray and I I want to use a prayer entitled A Prayer for Love in Time of Loss. Because we have been going through times of loss, haven't we? We've lost our bearings. The normal things are not normal. There's a new normal as they talk about. We may have lost touch with people. We have lost confidence, maybe in those in authority. Some have sadly lost loved ones, whether through COVID-19 or other ways. Some of you fear losing your jobs, the loss of economic stability. Prayer for love in a time of loss. Let us pray together. Almighty God, we praise and thank you for your overshadowing love. Your providential protection. We look to you as our shield and defender our rock and our fortress in these strange times. Lord, your word says in the day of trouble you will keep us safe in your dwelling, hiding us in the shelter of your tabernacle, lifting us high upon a rock. You are the God of all comfort. Hear our cry in this time of loss. When emotions are on edge. When hearts are hurting. When lament is lasting. When we are processing our pain. Tender Father. We pray that you would draw alongside us in our brokenness with your rod and staff to comfort us, with your unfeeling love to bind our wounds, with your peace that passeth all understanding. Man of sorrows, the suffering servant, you took up our pain, you bore our suffering, Stricken, afflicted, pierced, wounded, oppressed, crushed. Help us to know your loving presence with us in our anguish. Holy Spirit, mentor us in prayer and care. That we might know how to mourn with those who mourn. Be a loving neighbour to those in need. Bear one another's burdens. Avoid being a Job's comforter, blaming and shaming those already bowed down by grief. Even now, Lord, wipe away tears from our eyes. As we yearn for that time when there will be no more death or mourning, or crying, or pain. 
that time when the old order of things will have passed away, swallowed up in the victory of the King of Love, the Lord Jesus Christ. And these things we pray in his name. Amen. As I said earlier, do let me know if you have a particular hymn or worship song that uh, you would like included and we'll try to do that. I hope you will be able to join with us for the Pray 24 and be part of that uh, 24 hours of prayer for our world, for our congregation, for the whole situation that we are going through. So do join us if you can together on Friday morning at 10 o'clock and then uh, contact Phil or Sandra and join in for a particular hour. And then I hope you will join me again on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock as we begin to think about prayer. So let's now listen to Graham Kendrick singing that him holy overshadowing reminding us of how God is indeed our shelter that he brings us under his protection holy overshadowing Oh, spread your wings of mercy over me And guard my heart with true humility No shadow of the darkness pressing in Only the holy overshadowing Underneath your wings Overshadowing No refuge will I seek But God alone No hiding place Save only at your throne Only the cross The blood to wash my sin Praise for the Lord. 